uh, on Randomania. Uh, this is a random percent tournament, and we have no idea what's going to happen, except our runners are not randomized. It's uh, Magic Friends and Eggs Ice Blue. Uh, this is the uh, second match out of a best out of three, and Ice Blue won the first one. So uh, there is a loser's bracket. Nobody will be knocked out today. But uh, uh, Magic Friends is... Uh, is fighting to stay stay out of that loser bracket. Uh, joining me on commentary today is uh, one of the best Zelda One randomizer players, maybe one of the best Zelda One players too, a Saitam. Yo, hello. That introduction's a little too strong, my friend. <laughs> uh, no, I. Um, nice to be with you here, Catastrophe, and uh, excited to, to watch Magic Friends and X Ice Blue. Looks like X Ice Blue took the first one. He. Uh, he did pretty solid in the first match. I know he was in nine under an hour and, and finished it up shortly thereafter. So um, he was he's pretty quick. Yeah, you know, under an hour is fairly quick. You know, we do start with a random number of Triforces and you might think that that could lead to sub half hour seats and it has, but, but a lot can go wrong. Um, so finishing anything under sub hour is definitely an achievement or even close to an hour and uh, yeah, these runners can do it. Ice Blue's uh, sprite is fooling me a little bit, making me think that they're going to start with a blue ring, but I, I don't think they will, considering Magic Friends has still got the green tunic. That just might be his natural color, he's uh, Ice Blue. Yeah, interesting. Uh, the runners are allowed to choose uh, sprites and palettes uh, without it affecting the race. So, uh, yeah, so sometimes you can look at the start screen and make that decision right away. You did already mention that they start with a random number of Triforces. They'll also have the possibility of starting with two items, so uh, we don't know what they'll be until they until they pop out. So this is pretty exciting. Oh, it looks like they started with a white sword and a recorder. They don't even have to pause to look. So there is a bit of a glitch where if the uh, white sword and mags are replaced with bomb upgrades, and the player starts with the white sword item, that the A button graphic will be glitched, but that is a, a fully functioning white sword, I assure you. And that is quite lucky for the players. That is an excellent uh, starting loadout. Right, now, I don't see magic going anywhere yet. I'm a little worried about that because his timer is running. Um, the timer is on our side, not his side, so it could just be that his stream is frozen. But we, uh, we will see what goes on there. So Ice Blue, oh my goodness, and seven out of eight Triforce pieces. The one he was missing was level eight. Uh, the one thing I will caution the readers is that um, uh, if second quest dungeons is chosen, uh, that the Triforces for seven and eight will be swapped. So that could either be a second quest seven or a first quest shapes level eight Triforce that is missing. So um, as long as we uh, figure that out, oh, level numbers are hidden. So pretty interesting here will be a 50-50 percentage chance that Ganon will be required. Mm -hmm. If Ganon is not required, then they are one Triforce and level nine and done. That's right. Um, I've seen seeds though, where uh, you start off with, you know, six, seven, maybe eight Triforces. And um, you, you naturally blitz to nine because you have to assume Ganon is not required and that your opponent will dot done very fast. Okay, we have a floor drop in a boss room. Interesting. I wonder if that was shuffled because it was a heart container, so. But uh, yeah, and then, and then you get into nine and Ganon is required and then the bow is anywhere and the silvers. Silvers are probably a nine with this flag set, but um, even with a fast Triforce, a lot can go wrong. Wow, Ice Blue funding all the levels. Heck yeah. Uh, you know, this is one of the cool things about this setup is if you have a knowledge of the vanilla game, whether it's first quest, second quest, and a good dose of both, you have the opportunity to at least get uh, get some product knowledge ahead of time. Mm-hmm. So Ice Blue here, I want to say he's um, probably not... Uh, in vanilla eight, because you know I'm I'm looking for level eight, of course, because that's the one Triforce he doesn't have. Um, okay, Mag uh, Ice Blue is uh, 
is playing, good to know. Uh, he's probably doing the exact same start as Ice Blue did, because uh, when you start in the forest like that, you're going to naturally check those armhouses for a free item. You're going to check the open caves. Uh, they both had the recorder to get into Recorder Lake, so uh, which which actually I didn't mention this. It, that means we have a mixed or second quest overworld. So that's that's some information right there. So yeah, both players doing similar things. Magic Friends also going to get a heart container out of this room, just like Ice Blue did. Um, oh, Sightown, did you see if Ice Blue found anything in that staircase, or was it just a connector? I think it was just a connector, but I, I, I'm having a hard time catching everything. Mm. All right, so uh, that's two dungeons that probably aren't level eight, but could be, maybe. Um, oh no, Ice Blue does want to go back in. Oh no, this this is the uh, yellow dungeon, not the um, dark brown dungeon. Okay. So we found a dig dogger here. Both players are in the same dungeon for sure. Um, don't let the slightly different colors fool you. Depending on capture hardware, console, emulator, uh, the colors can look slightly different. Ooh. We also want to give a shout out to uh, CD Improv and John Tabin for handling our restream and, and tracking during this. Uh, they are they are working their rear ends off in order to just provide us with the ability to do this. Yes, thank you very much, CD Improv, and, uh, oh gosh, I already forgot, you just said it. <laughs> CD Improv. John Davin's the other one. John yeah. Davin, yes, for the, uh, tracking. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, interesting, so Magic Friends is choosing to pay the heart container that Ice Blue didn't want to pay. Now, what's interesting here is they still have four hearts, so Magic Friends must have picked up another heart container somewhere that Ice Blue did not. Potentially, maybe a, a take any or something earlier, but I would imagine they would have yeah. taken a candle there. I don't know. Yeah, I would I would also take a candle. That's right. So, uh, another interesting thing, too, is so Ice Blue here is in the level one colored dungeon. And uh, there's a recorder. <laughs> Do you already have one of these? I just want to make sure you have one of these. It's a good item. So, it's a really uh, nice item. <laughs> so, what's interesting here is... Um, so the start screen is close to the desert, and then uh, there's two dungeons in the forest, and that one dungeon, the level one colored dungeon, uh, right above the forest, that's three dungeons found with basically no overworld exploration. That's, that's pretty special. Yeah, you're talking like a six, seven screen differential for three of the dungeons already. Mm -hmm. Ooh, cheap beat. Uh, cheap beat. Cheap meat um, might be important, especially if uh, it turns out to be seven or eight that they have to go into and the old men are there. Um, this is really fun with the, with the hidden dungeons. We're just trying to guess along with everybody else on exactly where they're at right now. Ooh, a, f a walk through, oh. Oh, that's some information right there. So first, that walk through wall, I was going to proudly declare, oh, look, we got second quest dungeons, or at least okay. second quest doors. And then he walked through the wall right into the map of vanilla F second quest four. So vanilla second quest four, now we know what the yellow colored dungeon is. Um, that dungeon will have two items, uh, which means level one will only have one item. Um, that's, um, that's very important. Um, of course, once you realize it's second quest four, and the only Triforce piece you care about is probably level eight, then um, you, you bail. You know, you don't want to dig those two items. But, uh... And chat is correct. Uh, we do know that Palette Shuffle is actually, the color change is actually all on right now. This is, this is different. That's right. Oh, Ice Blue gets a candle in an open cave, right? Right near, right near, not start, but yeah, still, still only five or six screens away from start. All right. Very, very interesting. Um, Magic Friends, I guess, hasn't found that, or that's where Magic Friends got the heart container they used to pay. Oh, that's where, that's where the boomerang was. So, wow, the Armos item, three dungeons and two take any's were right near, on a one take any, it was right near start. We're getting to think this is a, a second quest overworld, actually. Uh, yeah, it could be, it has to be. 
There's a fairy at level five, so yeah, it's definitely a second quest. Oh, that can't happen with mixed? Oh, I guess that decides it then. Yep, I uh, I lost the match because I thought the um, vanilla first quest five was off in mixed quest, so uh, I learned my lesson. Oh, wow. So that, that one screen definitively tells you if it's second quest. Interesting. Whereas, like, the um, level two location, the first quest level two location, that becomes a lake in second quest. I, I believe that can be either in a mixed scenario, but that one screen is 100% on. Uh, in in mixed, it's 100% a lake at first oh. quest. And uh, first quest three is um, in a different position where the cave is at um, on on full second quest, but it always, lo always looks like vanilla first quest three on mixed. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I've been checking in all of my races. I've been checking extra spots before deciding, you know, definitely mixed, definitely second quest. Good to know. So uh, if the banana is under the armos, um, then that means uh, power bracelet is out there. And if we have a second quest overworld, there are many more power bracelet spots uh, and many more recorder slots, but we, we started with the recorder. So that means that the overworld... Uh, overworld checks just got a lot more serious in this game. I'm excited to see it. So I haven't seen either player use the recorder um, uh, recorder to either beaten dungeons or recorder to unbeaten dungeons. One of those two things has to be true. And uh, I mean, obviously there's only one unbeaten dungeon, but they have seven beaten dungeons. So that could be useful for getting around. Yeah, I think uh, for future races, they're going to want to keep that in mind because that's actually a great little test. It might even avoid you from exploring a bunch of the overworld. Uh, Magic Friends takes a different candle in the Wood Sword Cave, the unshuffled Wood Sword Cave. So good, good on them for taking that heart container in the earlier Take Any, as long as it didn't cost them too much time to delay their candle until then. Uh, it doesn't seem to have given Ice Blue... Oh, was that a book? I, I wasn't looking. Oh, Magic Friends finds another dungeon near start. Uh, it's level 3 colored, but that doesn't mean anything as we, we established. That could be, what, second quest 8? Well, it, it could be... Oh, uh, I didn't look at the start screen. I looked at the color and he, he jumped out. I'm going to trust Magic Friends knows what he's he's doing and that he wouldn't have jumped out if it had a potential to be the dungeon that he needed. Uh, we have either one of seven or eight, but we don't know which one it is because the first half of all the dungeons rolled second quest, and we haven't seen seven or eight to know what, the se or nine for that matter, to know what the dungeon type of seven through nine is. And, um... It's a, sorry. Yeah, I was just, just going to say, so it's it's either the first quest 8 or the second quest 7 Triforce that we're missing. Um, and, and if it is uh, second quest 7 through 9, then leaving 8 actually does make sense. It just all depends mm -hmm. on if it really is or not. So Ice Blue finds um, also a green dungeon. Uh, I'm looking at the map. Column 5. Man, every, every dungeon has you start in Column 5. Magic Friends finds yet another dungeon. Wow. Uh, this is the bright pink dungeon, so pallets are not just shuffled. Uh, they're shuffled with some original ones added in as well. Um, so that means super all bets are off. Oh, Vanilla Second Quest 7. Oh, yeah. Here we go. That's the one. Yeah, Mag Magic Friends is in there. You're right. That that start screen on the bottom left of column three re really can't be anything else. Oh, and the fact that he found a connector already, because, yeah, both Second Quest 7 and 8 are famous for all of their connectors. Oh, yeah. And given that he went to the top right corner, but not quite the top right corner, yeah, that's... Exactly that's right. Good. So Magic Friends is... Uh, he's in the right dungeon for his eighth and final Triforce piece. Oh, boy. Um, there he is. Fury and chat is exactly right. Uh, X Ice Blue is over in six. Oh yeah, yeah. That that little tip to the left of the the hook. Yeah. 
So I wonder why Ice Blue is in six. Uh, maybe he doesn't know it's six. Maybe. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of potentially maybe just doesn't recognize it yet. Uh, totally understandable. Ice Blue didn't find the map in four to tell him. Oh wow. Okay, I was I was actually going to say this next. If it is second quest six, we don't know what the dungeon items are. Uh, we found that no, we found that recorder in it's four. It's exactly right. Yeah. Well, because, um, but if dungeon items are not shuffled, second quest six will have your step ladder. <laughs> and then I didn't even have a chance to try to get ahead of myself. And ooh, level nine is also that close to start. That's one screen left and two screens down of start. So our start screen had Armos, one north, uh, three dungeons close by, in addition to nine. So that's four dungeons. My goodness. So Ice Blue knows where Nine's at. Magic knows where the dungeon he needs in order to get into Nine is at. This is going to be a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, wow. And we'll, we get to see if that ladder makes a difference, too. Um, my goodness. I wouldn't have... Uh, I don't know if I would have thought to dig six with just one Triforce left, but had I thought of it... Uh, Ladder is always good. Uh, level nine is a is a very mean dungeon, and you can end up ladder blocked. You could end up technically able to beat the seed ladder list, but it's just a lot slower. Um, yeah, I mean that that ladder is big, and, and for all you know, the the Triforce in level seven is going to be ladder blocked anyway. Because with second quest dungeons, I, I feel like there's a lot more water around. So excellent. That's that's great for Ice Blue. I think Magic Friends definitely knows what level he's in now. He just got a red candle. So does that mean items are not shuffled? I think the red candle is in level 7 for both quests. Yeah, so... It is, but how does a wooden boomerang get to be the Armos? Because uh, it has to be shuffled in some some facet. Yeah, you're right. Never mind. Oh yeah, but no, we saw the recorder in 4, so things are shuffled. Right. Good point, yeah, that's yeah. right. It's just that sometimes a couple things. I, I was doing commentary on another seed where uh, bow and um, wooden boomerang were in one, but so was the red ring, <laughs> and raft was in three. Wow! So there were there were a large number of vanilla items, but technically items were still shuffled. And if you're a player who maybe you know gambles on ladder and six based off of seeing boomerang and bow in one or something you know and raft in three surprise you know they, they were shuffled we just had a couple more than usual end up in their vanilla spots yeah it's pretty special so ice blue now is looking for um uh second quest seven which magic friends has already found um, magic I, friends is is going and getting the fairy because he he hit a red bubble oh gosh that hurts yeah i don't blame him so uh, he's going to show us now where that um, where that level seven was. Was it this open cave? I believe it I was, with, it was. Uh, one three. Yeah. Wow. All right. So now we know the location of of the important dungeon, the bright magenta dungeon. And that cave is what it looks like when it's full second quest. Uh, when you hit that, but uh, vanilla one three. Ah, good. Good to know. I mean, yeah, I, I knew it looked like that in Second Quest, but I didn't know that it had to. It, it had to be that way, so that's that's interesting. I, I can figure out now if it's mixed or um, mixed or pure Second a lot faster now. So Ice Blue, unfortunately, digging Death Mountain here. Um, given that we've already found almost every dungeon elsewhere, and um, we know where the good dungeons are, seven and nine. Oh, and the. And the uh, white sword item apparently is a raft. Uh, he's not going to find anything up here. But, uh, you know, the race is not over yet. There's always still nine. And there's always still the chance that Ganon is required, 50-50. And that the players will have to dig a bow. And that they could dig all nine dungeons to find that bow. It can definitely happen. That Patra is not being friendly right now. No. Um, there's a 50% chance that enemies will roll 0 HP. You 
know, and bosses can roll zero HP. Uh, Pactra's eyes count as a regular enemy, but the Pactra in the center counts as a boss uh, for the purpose of for the purpose of Fred randomizing enemy HP. So we saw that Pactra die in a single white sword hit. Uh, that means bosses, not Ganon, rolled zero HP, which is cool, uh, but less cool for Pactra because you still have to do all the hard work. Um, but if you know, all right. If magic friends didn't know it before, they know it now. I'm kind of cheering for him just to see if we uh, see a game three, but I know I'm supposed to be impartial. <laughs> I mean, I like Ice Blue, more games. you know? <laughs> I, just, I just want more games, you know? That's, that's all. So, you know, that, that, that red candle actually gives Magic Friends a bit of repeatable offense if they get bubbled. Uh, chat was saying bubble was uh, reverse controls, though. I'm pretty sure it's actually taken away the sword. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I believe you, though. Because uh, Magic Friends really had to leave to get the uh, Fairy Fountain, so um, they, uh, they could get their sword back. Reverse controls you can live with. No sword, sometimes you're you're just hard stuck, you know. Ooh. Take any's in the middle of the spiral. How vanilla. Ooh, that's that's the worst thing. A shoot room that you had to pay a take any to get into. And then a pack draw on top of that. The this Triforce is, is a drop room, I believe. Yeah, the Triforce has to be around here somewhere, because, uh... Ooh! Patrick got him. Uh, Magic Friends has actually um, done a lot of 7 already. Um, they've And they've been doing full combat, deep, a, a deep dive every room. Um, except this locked door here. So, uh... Ooh, that's a very interesting palette on Ice Blue screen. Uh, they will probably explore this for as long as it takes to realize it's not seven. Um, based on the start screen, they might already know that, but I wouldn't blame them for either wanting to be sure or potentially digging for keys. Um, it's got to be one or three. Mm -mm. Oh, there's a connector, so it's three. Oh, no, one has a connector as well, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, they both will. Nice block clip by Magic Friends there to get through. Oh, I, so that they're going back into the shoot room now. Well, if killing the Pactra drops the Triforce, the Pactra will stay dead, so that's a good thing. Uh, Magic Friends is using that flag they turned on. Their, their loser's remorse flag was to change uh, permanent sword beams from a 50-50 to a 100% chance. And uh, it's coming in handy for them right here. So, that's good. That Pactra won't get them again. Ooh! Yeah. Good call by them. Wow! Level 9 second quest push block, and now they're gonna block clip through it and cheat into the, um, and cheat into the, uh, the, the shoot. That's, that's fantastic. Now this particular block clip, I've never got it to work myself. You have to do two block clips in a row, and um, I, I don't know the coordinates for it. Um, it's 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 pretty hard. It's way above my pay grade. I can't do this one. Yeah, it comes in handy for vanilla for or vanilla speed running. Gosh, the silver arrow room. Um, you know, it's, it's reverse C, and you have to push a block, but. Yeah, it is. It is. It is pretty hard to do two block clips in such a crammed space. Um, so that room would be the one-way staircase in level nine that would trap you in with Ganon. Um, <laughs> I saw the Triforce room and I thought, "Is this it? Is this it?" Nope. Just kidding. It's a five rupee. And those are like kind of fifty-fifty as well. So you either have it all in Triforce rooms or. Everywhere. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
And it took him back to that very same shoot room. That's funny. Oh, Triforce and maybe an item? Oh no, he already got the red candle. So, magic friends, now, they got the full Triforce, but they don't have the ladder and six, and I don't think they have knowledge of level nine. Level nine being a mere three screens away from start. Um, yeah. I don't know. We saw them pick up their blue candle only recently at the uh, vanilla wood sword screen, uh, close to vanilla start. So they are probably still going to dig most of the overworld looking for level nine without realizing that it was a candle location close to start. Oh, and look where Ice Blue is. I think Ice Blue found level seven. Wow, so if Ice Blue gets this Triforce, they're gonna make a beeline for nine and then uh, see what's up. Wow. Yeah, Magic, he's, they're on the clock right now. Time to find out where nine's at. Uh, that said, uh, as long as Magic Friends doesn't go to Death Mountain like Ice Blue did, I think it'll be okay. And uh, another thing too, I hate to jinx it, but this isn't a jinx. If Magic Friends dies on the overworld, which they only have four hearts, and I'm not cheering for it, but yes, I am cheering for it, because if they die on the overworld, that will actually send them back to start, which is close to nine. They could then be thinking, well, as long as I'm here, I may as well use my candle and check the, oh, there's nine, <laughs> right? So that would be really good if the enemies maybe finished off Magic Friends here. That recorder right there also tells us that it would send you to Unbeaten Dungeons. They could have went straight to the Unbeaten Dungeon the whole time. My goodness, yeah, see? So I was thinking that just a minute into the race. I'm like, you started with a recorder. Uh, blow it, see where it takes you. <laughs> it, it, you're right, it would have taken them straight to the, the Magenta Dungeon, which was an open cave. Uh, I don't know. And they started with a white sword, so it was doable. I mean, harsh to do Second Quest Seven with nothing but three hearts and a white sword, but yeah. Magic Friends finds the uh, blue dungeon Ice Blue found earlier. Uh, level 9 will not be disguised, so they, they just run from there. Ice Blue's making progress on this 7. Magic Friends has to find that 9, and then has to hope that Ice Blue's ladder uh, doesn't matter. Hey, that kind of rhymed. I'm afraid that Ice Blue is going to go up Death Mountain from here uh, when when the answer you is almost close to the, start. Yeah, you, you almost, almost have to you're gonna run out of bombs or something. Mm -hmm. He's got eight bombs, so... They've still got that recorder selected. I guess they've got nothing better to put on their B button. The recorder's not going to do anything for them. Oh, they're, they're spending no, a lot of time no. trapped on this screen with the dark nuts. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna call that progress. One more hit. Somebody please finish off Magic Friends. Send them back to nine. Ooh. <laughs> Magic Friends just narrowly avoiding death there. Come on, guys. You can do it. Kill him off. Kill him Murder off. Murder this man. <laughs> right? It's Magic Friends. It's for your own good. <laughs> Get warped to nine. Okay, so Magic Friends is doing a screen wrap here to keep, stay safe. Um... Good screen wrap, you know. Unfortunate that they lived. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going with this because it's fun. Oh, that would probably be the mags? Yeah, because we know that the raft is on Death Mountain. Uh, the raft yeah, is on Death Mountain one. as our white sword item. So that has to be mags, but... Our oh, Ice Blue got the Triforce. Well, Magic Friends, you gotta hurry up. Alright, last, last race, Ice Blue had the lead into nine by about six or seven minutes and it looks like at a minimum they're gonna they're gonna have it lead again mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the big question on the docket is ganon required or not yep and if ganon is required magic friends has dug part of four and ice blue has dug part of six um magic friends recorder and four was useless because they started with it um, Ice Blue's ladder in six is already paying off in this Pactra room. You don't want to fight this without the ladder. Oh my gosh, look at this. Pactra in an NSU room? You've got nowhere to go. 
Oh, like a it. small key. Beautiful. Uh, Crystal Saber told me something interesting about level nine yesterday, specifically second quest nine. Um, there will only ever be uh, one small key on the floor. I guess that's right. I never thought about it, but yeah, so level nine is very, very I low no on idea. keys. Yeah, level nine is very low on keys. And um, uh, so Ice Blue entered with one, picked up one. They now have two. Um, it's probably more than two locked doors in level nine, so those keys will be a factor. Um, unless Zelda is right here, yeah. or maybe right here. Ooh, Silvers, excellent. So, um, oh wait, that doesn't do anything, does it? Well, no, but it might tell you cool. that you might be able to get Red Ring in here, which isn't mm -hmm. the worst thing in the world. Yeah, I would certainly keep checking stairs, definitely. All right, magic friends, you found the take anys. Uh, maybe one of them will take you to the forest. No, they're not vanilla. That one is, but the other ones aren't. Um... Smart move by Ice Blue. Might as well just start punting and go to another section of the dungeon for now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Check as many doors as possible, because Zelda could be right here. And wait a minute. Oh, I saw the room get dark, so I started to panic. I'm like, is that Ganon? He doesn't have a bow. And chat, you're going to have to holler at us if uh, if you hear the roar. We can't hear it. I uh, see. Chat's also telling me that level 9 actually has fewer key doors. Okay, that makes sense. Level 9 does have turnstile rooms and uh, one-way stairs. And Zelda, we're done. <laughs> I love it when that happens. That was a quick one. Under 30. Wow. Um, yup. Sometimes that can happen. How do you do, my lady? So yeah, I started with seven Triforces, and Ganon wasn't required. That seed could have been even faster if either player blew that recorder. Wow. Welcome! Somebody join us. Hi. Hi, uh, who are we speaking to? Ice Blue. Oh, hey, yeah, welcome, yeah. and congrats. Yeah, yeah. GG's. Wow. Welcome, so, uh, somebody join us. That uh, was a seed. Hi, uh, so yeah, that was that was, that was super fast. That can happen sometimes in this flag set. Uh, you 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 took that ladder out of six. Uh, I'm not sure if it ended up being required, but it, it sure made the seed interesting. Uh, a, a short seed, uh, much more interesting. Did, did you suspect that vanilla item locations were on, maybe? Or did you know you were in six? Uh, so I knew I was in six when I found it, um, just simply from the shape of the map, and I knew it was uh, at least was uh, seven, eight, and nine were second quests. So I took the gamble that six was also second quest. So when I found the ladder, it confirmed it. Mm -hmm. um, I, I already knew it was second quest seven and eight, and nine when I found eight like super early, because you can oh. tell just by the, the right side spawn, like the oh I, I missed. Yeah, if, if you look at the map, the far right side spawn, there's no dungeon in, uh, which we'll call it, in uh, first quest that doesn't unless it's shapes, which shapes will never, I've never seen like an actual shape give you a straight line up and down. Yeah, no, it, it does always branch to the side because that's how Fred programmed it. So G good logic on your part. I yeah. See. So, so, great so, uh, so I will tell you, it wasn't vanilla placement of items, though. So six having ladder was actually kind of nutty. Yeah, I, I, I recognized it. So when I pulled the item out of seven, I knew it wasn't vanilla item placement. I just, I, apparently I got lucky with pulling that ladder out of six and pulling the uh, silvers out of nine as well. Well, I mean, silvers in nine is somewhat lucky, but you know, the red candle in seven, I think is vanilla. But um, uh, first quest, yeah. Second quest, it's uh, eight is red candle key. Oh, I thought, I thought, oh, oh, yeah, you're right. No, I thought eight was wand and no, yeah, no. yeah, it's wand and key and eight on both. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. Wand and key at eight on book and key and eight on the middle one. So that means, yeah, red candle is seven for both, and then, um, yeah, so yeah, ladder still ended up in six, red candle still ended up in seven. Silver's being in nine isn't a surprise, but the recorder was in four. And Magic Friends found that. And yeah, the, I found it. I found it armor. as well. I just didn't pick it up. Well, I the armor seven though. was a clue that it was shuffled. Ah. Yeah. So it, it, the armor having the boomerang tells you that it was it was luck anyway, and the raft being the white sword item. So yeah, that was great that you got that ladder in six. 
Um, hey, are we joined by magic friends? What happened? <laughs> GG. <laughs> so you were both in level seven. Uh, you both found, uh, no, actually. I'm yeah, guessing so, you found the Triforce before me because I took like two really bad deaths in there. Yeah, so funny story actually. Uh, magic friends got the Triforce in seven uh, before Ice Blue even found it. Um, yeah, I made my way all through Death Mountain and. Uh, yeah, Ice Blue, you 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 went the long way through the Overworld and you did the Dead Woods last, and that's where level seven was. Um, and you you both figured out pretty quickly. You both started off taking the same route. You both figured out. It was a second quest game the whole way. Second quest overworld, second quest dungeons. Just got to find that level seven. And you both did pretty much the same things. You know, dug four. I'm not sure if Ice Blue knew it was four or not, but I didn't Magic, know it was four. Magic Friends I, I got the map, so I couldn't tell by the. Uh, I I actually almost picked up the book just to see if it was an atlas, but I didn't. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I I I thought seven was right above eight. Uh, until I bombed up and found it up, and I was like, oh, no, nope, never mind, I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah same. I was really hoping when I saw that you went in and you could only go left and right, I'm like, please be seven, please be seven, please be seven. <laughs> and then I looked at it, I was like, all right, all right, we could only have seven or eight, and when I found eight, I was like, all right, all I need is seven Stripers. I do want to throw eight. one thing at Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, yeah, no, seeing, seeing eight just confirmed that it was seven, eight, nine, second quest, so I knew the Triforce that we needed was seven. Yeah, so I I realized that I couldn't push anything and I couldn't bomb anything in seven and there's no there's no walkthrough walls in seven to seven. So it's like I guess I have to try bombing north and then it happened and I'm like Well now I have no clue where I am until I found the map and as soon as I saw the D I'm like I I am done with this. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, so you guys did start with the recorder and recorder actually took you to unbeaten dungeon. So you guys um could have actually been in seven almost immediately oh wait it did i played the recorder on the start screen and it didn't let me move the restart screen was monocle rock i think yeah i mean it has to because it, it either has to take you to unbeaten dungeons or beaten dungeons and you started with seven yeah. beaten and one unbeaten so it should have spawned a whirlwind no matter what and then uh later when i think it was uh, magic friends um was doing overworld checks. I think you played the recorder somewhere and a whirlwind didn't appear. And that's how we know it was, um, uh, that's how we know it was recorded to unbeaten dungeons because huh. your Triforce was fully lit. Yeah. I must've done something wrong where like, I just, oh, you know what? I think I actually moved left one screen and then played the whistle. Oh yeah, See? that would have been a screen with a, with a recorder spot on it. Yep. Yeah. Wow, the Monocle Rock. <laughs> It sure just brought me to seven. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So it's funny you both missed that. You know that could have made it. That could have made it a fast seed even faster. Yeah. Because you, you started. I, with I the don't white know sword. where. So ice blue. Where is nine? Because I was in the um, middle of exploring for nine, and you got done. So I you're about to be bad. Uh, you uh, did you ever find six? Nope. Um. So right above the uh the right side of start. Like the little wood, like the woods area above, like right near that fairy fountain below the desert. Uh, one tile below the desert, uh, the burn bush that you have to burn on the right side. That was nine. If you're looking at tracker, it's four B. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. From where you yeah, started, I, it was one. I didn't. Two, I didn't find much money to start, and I ended up not being able to get a candle until I was like on the other side of the map. I, I wasn't found... able to get bombs either. I, it took me forever to get bombs. Hey, you got your. Found... I found a take any uh, right by, uh, I think it was the White Sword Cave, or it was like right by White Sword Cave. Two screens to the right. Yeah. One screen to the right of one's first quest five. Yeah. 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 I found a take any, so I got a candle there. Magic Friends oh. took a heart container there and then used that to pay a mugger room. Ah. Mm. So then Magic Friends got their blue candle from the uh, vanilla start screen. Uh, the wood sword was there and it, extra candles were turned on. So ah. Magic Friends got their blue candle way down there. And then uh, as a result, they didn't burn the bushes in the forest close to start, which is where nine was. Yeah. Which is unfortunate because, you know, Blitz nine was, was this, was the strategy. Yeah. I, uh, I ended up finding the silvers and I was like, okay, if Zelda's, if Ganon's required, I just need to go dig out the bow somewhere. So then I'm good. 
Uh, and then I walk up, and Zelda was like three rooms up. <laughs> you know, some, sometimes it happens. It's nice when it happens. Yeah, um, Speedy Seed. Definitely uh, was not expecting something like that. You guys both did pretty solid on combat, despite not having a whole lot of hearts to work with, so good job on that for both of you. Other than me walking into a Patra, you know, from the top side, yeah. <laughs> it's okay, I walked into, in 7, there was the shoot room, and I knocked out 7 Patrodes and then face-planted the 8th one to have to start all over again. Oh. I, uh, in seven, I walked, uh, that first staircase that you take, and it brings you to, like, the top right. I walked down, and I got Patrid. moment I walked into the Beamosh room, it was like, hey, you're gonna start again. Yeah, there's, there's no fun when you're walking directly into a buzzsaw like that. No, not at all. Yeah, geez, if, if if either of us had blown that whistle, that could be like a 12-minute seed. <laughs> like, you blow the whistle, yeah. you go to seven. The white sword cave is just near seven, so you can get your candle there, and then you just start burning everything and get there in like 15 minutes. Could have been like random effect last night, fast. How fast was that one? He was sub-20 last night. Oh my goodness. Sub-20 with multiple Triforces to get and had to get a ladder out of a dungeon he already had. It was pretty out, crazy. Out of, a, out of a dungeon he started with the Triforce piece for? It. Wow. Fun stuff all around, though. Hey, guys. Uh, great job. And uh, and you guys did a fantastic job, despite all the craziness of uh, shortchanging stuff. Yeah. I, um... <laughs> I don't know. I kind of... I kind of feel disappointed by that scene. Yeah, I know what you mean, just because it was so quick, you know? And I, 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 liked, I, liked how, I liked how click how game one was, like where it was just like both of us were like frantically searching for all eight Triforces, the ladder that was, no, I'm sorry, seven Triforces, the ladder in a Triforce dungeon that we already had. Yeah, we started with seven and had to find the ladder in seven to finish the game. Oh. Good scene. Yeah. Good roll. I like it. And this uh, one, yeah, this one this, seven this was, was required. <laughs> of course. Ugh. Well, we'll be seeing both of you guys again. There is a loser's bracket. You know, ice blue, obviously. You go to the you go to the next round of the winner's bracket. I gotta uh, I gotta go take a look at who I have to go against. Because the seating was random. Uh, and I haven't looked myself. You know, it could be anybody. I believe when I looked the other day, I'm now f playing Angel FM, which means it doesn't get any easier. Oh, boy. Good luck. Yeah, that's some pretty stiff competition. Yeah, good luck. Good luck, both of you, in your next rounds. Thank you. Thank um, you. Um, do we have any other? Uh, I, don't, I don't think there's any more races for this particular tournament until 5 p.m., but uh, do we have um, anything else going on in the Randomaniac channels, maybe? I'm not sure offhand. I do know that uh, Fury and chat saying Adagenos is next for X-Ice Blue, so that's going to be a fun one, too. Oh, Ooh. yeah, I'm watching Ooh, that. Okay, wait, wait, whoa, all right, all right. I get my revenge on Adagenos for the Swordless Tournament? All right, I'm down. I'm yeah, I think some. that makes sense because I lost because I'm playing who I think eight gen beat Angel right so I'm playing the loser and you're playing the winner. I'm not sure how it works. Uh, <laughs> went to the oh. other bracket. I'm not not 100 sure. I've tried to find the bracket page. I can't find it. So yeah, I can't find it either. So yeah, so it looks like there's actually a crystalless randomizer tournament. Uh, and the past the time until uh, 5 p.m. when we have our next match. Uh, let me look that up real quick. We got uh, Sharky versus Elendar at 5 p.m. And then uh, the Alan Heffley versus Bogey Smalls. That'll be game two of three. Uh, that will be at, I got to do math real quick with 24 hour time, 9 p.m. So, uh, 
So we have maxes at five and 